Hey guys, I got a little bit of an update this week because I wasn't able to really work on this thing much uh, throughout the week because uh, I needed a battery and the only place I have one is out the land and it's about 12 miles away and I really didn't want to make a trip out there in the middle of the week. So I need to get this battery box done before I can really start tearing anything down. And I also wanted to get a measurement from this uh, foot peg um, in front of it to see if I can get um, oh, Nerf bars for a, a 250X or a 300EX to bolt up on here. And uh, I have to do a little bit more looking at this because as far away as stuff is, I don't know if they'll look right on it. So I have to kind of look into that a little bit more. But a guy at work sandblasted these pegs. Let me see how what kind of detail they got on here. But, uh, clean them up really nice. These things were so rusty and like rust down in here. And you can't get them apart because they're like riveted together. But, uh, Sandblaster did a pretty good job on them. And then the battery box. Uh, made out of uh, bed railing. Like the frame for your bed. And then, uh, let me get a, a view underneath. Let me see there. Pretty much just went around everywhere where there's a seam and kind of welded it up a little bit and then uh, I got a little bit of flux to clean out of that fix it up a little bit better and then there's a, there's a hole cut out in the plastics I did have to uh, this holes lined up Like my battery box kind of pushes up a little bit in the middle of the plastics. There we are. I had to cut out a wee little bit right here. You know, so it got some good clearance, but battery down in there. And then I usually just get like those giant zip ties from like Lowe's or something. Kind of wrap it around the, you know, go through the sides and wrap it around the bottom and stay in pretty good and then uh, probably put some kind of like uh, rubber type material on the bottom so it's not sitting right on the metal but it almost looks like it like it belonged there I'm completely out of rods I, I literally used the last rod you know tacking this thing to the frame so Probably, probably do some stuff like you know finish off some welds here or something. I don't know. Might just leave it alone. I think the box is pretty you know stout the way it is. So that's about all I got for now. But uh, let's just I just went I just actually just put this peg on here. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember this bottom end must be a lot smaller than the one that was on here, but it looks kind of funny, don't it? But that's the way it's supposed to be. The Nerf bars for 250X, I measured them off the other one. It's about 18 and 7 eighths comes out to the edge of the pipe. So, uh, I actually haven't checked it. I'll just grab a tape measure real quick. And then uh, we'll see what we got. Yeah. This is going to be way too big of Nerf bars. Like too far forward. So I don't know. You see relative to the front end here. Well, maybe I could 
figure out a way to put them back. I don't know. This front, this this bike has a, some weird shapes to it, so I uh, guess maybe I have to buy the ones that's supposed to go on it if I want them on there. All right, well, I'm trying to get a video in this weekend. Try to get at least a, you know a video a week or something going. Maybe people don't think I just left my channel or something. But that's where we are right now. Alright, well thanks for watching.